All right, thank you very much, Megan. Well, now to more on the legacy of Lily Ledbetter, the trailblazer for equal pay, sadly passed away Saturday at the age of 86. The East Alabama native will be remembered for her fight that led to the passage of the Lily Ledbetter Fair Pay Act in 2009, signed by then President Obama. Joining us now by Zoom with perspective on her impact is former U.S. Senator Doug Jones of Alabama. So, Counselor, good to see you this morning. Thanks, Mike. And I hope you're feeling better, by the way. Uh, <laughs> Thanks. But let, let, let's start with her strength to fight after realizing she was not getting paid the same as men doing the same supervising job. She sued the Goodyear Tire and Rubber Company. That, that could not have been easy. No, it was absolutely not easy. Uh, her strength of per perseverance and strength of character was just unmatched. I've never seen anyone like Lily. She just continued to persevere throughout all manner of adversities. And, and you know what happened, Mike, is that this was denied on a technicality. They said that she under the law, she just filed too late. So she just didn't stop after the Supreme Court decision. Ruth Bader Ginsburg issued a very strong dissent calling on Congress to pass law. And Lilly then, after her case was completed, took up that cause and lobbied Congress to pass the Fair, Lilly Ledbetter Fair Pay Act which was Barack Obama's first signature legislation that he signed after becoming president. And she knew, she knew despite that she would get some pushback, but uh, she was not deterred. W what do you remember from your interactions with her? I, I remember Lily's just absolute strength of character, perseverance, doing what she knows to be the right thing to do. That was Lily Ledbetter in a nutshell, always moving forward, always working for others, to do. She knew, Mike, that despite, once the Supreme Court issued the decision, she knew that she was never going to be able to recover uh, any damages for what Goodyear had done. Mm -hmm. But she continued to persevere for others. She said at the time, this is not going to affect me, but if I can do something for others, that's what's important. And that's, that's the kind of person she was, and that has been consistently the interaction that I've had with her over the many years. On that note, too, what, what, what do future generations of women in the workforce owe to Lily Ledbetter? Uh, they owe a lot um, because that fight continues to this day, Mike. Lily would be the first to tell you that the struggle for women's equality still exists. In her situation, it was just fair pay. But remember, it was just the ability to bring suit. But if you look at the numbers, Today, women are still behind the curve uh, regards to pay in the same work uh, paid to men. Uh, so that fight continues. Other issues for women and equality. We often talk about equality uh, being more race oriented, but women have been behind the curve since this country was founded and that fight continues. And Lily, I am sure, would want everyone to continue that fight today. And the fact that that act, that law is named after her, it speaks volumes, doesn't it? Absolutely, there's no question. And she, you know, she befriended so many people. She became a friend with um, Barack Obama, with Joe Biden, with others, because she spoke at two Democratic conventions about the need for Congress to act, the need for state legislatures to act. And that's something that often goes un, uh, overlooked that a lot of what Lilly did had this ripple effect through the states, that states passed their own laws to give equality and fairness to women in the workplace. All right. Well, uh, former Senator uh, Doug Jones, we appreciate you spending the time with us and offering your perspective on Lilly Ledbetter. Thank you so much, sir. Thanks, Mike. All right. Sheldon.